Good evening, I'm Scott Hennessy. And I'm Beth Farnsworth. The name of the man killed in the latest Isla Vista cliff fall over the weekend has been released. He has been identified as Jacob William Aladar Parker of San Diego. Tracy Lair is live in Isla Vista near the cliff where it happened. And Tracy, he graduated from UCSB in 2023. Yeah, and just 23, and I'm on the stairs that first responders came down near the 6600 block of Del Playa, and this happened just around the bend. The tide wasn't as high as it is now. This was Saturday around 2.40 p.m., and they call him Jake Parker, and it turns out he was here for a All Gaucho Alumni Weekend, and on Saturday, it appears he climbed over a private fence at 6625 and fell. Uh, Raquel Zick from the sheriff's office says he was pronounced dead at the hospital. He is the second alumni to die over that weekend. It happened in 2022 to a 26 year old uh, graduate of UCSB. And then the last fatal fall happened over the Labor Day weekend. An Ojai 19 year old named Benny Shermer died. And a lot of parents say they just relive this when they hear about another fatal fall. We also uh, got word from Laura Capps, uh, the, the Santa Barbara County supervisor who's been trying to prevent these falls ever since the last fall and here's what she had to say on Sunday in my view no one should be living here uh, in these unsafe conditions much less partying here and having a good time this fence is clearly not high enough we've done all we can to incentivize property owners to raise it to six feet um, so much more we need to do it's been a race against the clock and my heart goes out to this young man's family and the first responders now that property, we're told by students, is managed by the Meridian Group. Uh, we reached out, but their mailbox is full, so we have not heard yet. But a lot of parents want the property owners to get involved and try to make a difference. There is now a GoFundMe for Jake Parker. It's already raised close to $8,000 with a $25,000 goal. We have put a link on our mobile app and website if you would like to look at that or contribute. And we will have more reaction coming your way tonight on the news. Reporting live in Isla Vista, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.